This is a giant cane toad or bufo toad for our clients who have never seen one. I think you can see the white there coming out of the parotoid glands. Um, it looks like our southern toads. Oh, it's trying to escape, so it's blowing up. It's not very happy to be in my hands, and I completely understand why he thinks I'm going to eat him. Um, but this is non-native, so I want you to see those huge glands on the side of the head right there and that white substance. That, if it gets into your um, your dog's or cat's mouths, it's, I believe, an, it's, well, no, it's definitely very toxic to your pets. This guy is a reason we ask you to not leave your dogs unattended outside. Um, dogs love to chase things that jump, and this thing is the ultimate little predator. It is not native. It eats our frogs and toads. It is attracted to your dog's food if you leave it outside. Stop, please. I'm sorry, baby. Um, even if you don't pick up poop in your backyard, um, it will come and eat the flies. So that's another reason to pick up poop. Look at all of that secretion there. That there is what you don't want your dog and cat taking into them. Um, it's toxic and it can kill them. Um, these guys make it through chain link fences. Um, and it's kind of hard to get rid of them unless you have like a nice fence along your um, along your garden. You check for, let's say, look, shady areas like this. He was underneath our um, our fence here. And my little Chawini was all about it. And I'm like, no, buddy, not today. Not today. So he's blowing up right now. He's trying to escape. And unfortunately, I have the sad duty of trying to find a place to take him to. I don't like to kill animals. However, he would kill my little guy. Um, so now you know. This is what the cane toad looks like up close. They have these huge glands here. Our um, native southern toads have much smaller ones and they end with a nice ridge above their eyes. The um, great toad here has no ridge. Like they don't have little horns up there. He's an angry guy, but I'd be angry too. All right, I hope this helped you guys out. Remember at night, don't leave water out. Don't leave food bowls out. Pick up your poop. Check check to see that you don't have you know very like nice and moist places for this toad to hang out with if you live by a canal it's even more possible that you'd have these guys everywhere and again always make sure you know what your dog's getting into because this is really no fun look at that awful all right